going to show you how to install a newer technology high capacity battery for the third generation iPod. Begin by removing the battery from the package. It comes with an installation manual. If you wish to follow along in the installation manual you can. Pick up your iPod and along the side you'll see a seam. You'll need to actually squeeze the iPod a little bit moving the back metal cover out and away from the plastic and I'll bring it up here you can hear you can actually open this gap by squeezing the iPod and inserting the tool. I think you can see here clearly that it is inserted. All you have to do is start by working your way around the iPod and you'll open one side of the iPod. You'll see a gap there. Very gently work it around the bottom, around the dock connector. You do not want to break that. Turn the corner and follow the edge of the iPod around and you'll have opened up all three sides very gently remove the back of the iPod and lay it as such because you do not want to rip this ribbon cable. You then need to remove the hard drive by lifting up and there is a connector that attaches the logic board right here. Lift up with your finger on the front edge of it and set the hard drive aside. And Here's the battery that we're going to replace. Remove the connector by pulling straight up and then remove the iPod battery and set it aside. Insert the new battery. The red wire will connect to the front. You can see it's here closest to the dock connector. Set the battery in place and tuck the wires gently out of the way. Insert the hard drive connector that you removed again. Fully seat it. Turn the back and set it down and around the dock connector. And then gently start squeezing the sides and you'll close the iPod. iPod will turn back on. Make sure that the dock connector is fully seated as is shown here. That's all there is to it.